Lions will leave the floor. Penning with the inbound pass. Well, Mike, as the second half gets underway, it's important to continue to pound the ball inside. This team has a big advantage in points in the paint. They need to continue to go to what's been successful, and that's been inside. Henning on the assist on that one. Nice job. Not a good situation for the defense here, Mike. There's a huge height advantage right now. The defense must try to deny that entry pass every time by playing the passing lanes better and try to push him off the lane. Then get some pressure on the ball handler so he can't see inside and get that easy pass in. He shoots. Armstrong misses from 10. Boy, this is a nice matchup. Even nicer defensive work to somehow negate the open shot. From outside. Good shot with the jumper there. And there's nothing more basic in basketball than a good pass. Boy, a beautiful feed and a nice jump shot to finish that play. They give the ball up, unable to put it in play in five seconds. They pass it inside. Help, help, help. Passes it back. Cooley steals it, and that's his first takeaway of the game. It's a five-point game. Henning goes glass Homer for the easy Henning. two. Oh, nice pass. If you're on this guy's team, you had better have your hands ready. Otherwise, he's going to drill you in the skull when you're open. Throws it back. He's doubled up. Manages to pass out of it. Armstrong rebounds again. He's up to seven now. The Spartans have the ball, and it's a seven-point lead. Puts it up. Henning missed, hitting the right side of the rim. Boy, they squeak by with just enough distraction to get them to miss. The ball inside. And Agonia with the big-time jam. Boy, there was no doubt about that one. The ball hit the floor and left a dent. It's a five-point game. Allman hits the front iron and comes out. Well, the defense wins this matchup. Let's just say two lesser players going against each other. That's with the switch. Oh, I can't wait to see this play again, Mike. He got Run some contact going Allman. up for the shot before he makes the layup. Jay, there's the contact and no foul called. Then he finishes it successfully. Beautiful play, strong and effective. They're letting these kids play out there. And that was pretty, wasn't it? Hansen puts the ball in play. He's double teamed. It's not loose. They're running the court. Another terrific job on defense to get the steal. And Jay, look at both teams' total steals tonight. Mike, you have a contributing factor right there in the steals. The performance of that defense, pushing you further out on the floor, getting out in passing lanes, and shooting gaps. Adagania up top with the ball. Hasn't been able to help his team tonight. You know, Jay, it's got to be killing him. Oh, yeah, and they're really behind because of this kid right now. He's a kid that they really need to play well in order to win. If he doesn't get his game going, they're, need to, they're going to need to try to do something else. Look to another player to try to get him going. He gets the first of two. And he's off on the second. It's a six-point ball game. Henning also for reaching in. This will be his second foul of the contest. Adagania triggers it in. Adagania gets his sixth rebound of the night. 
Adagania couldn't get it to go after the hack, but draws the foul, a chance for two from the free throw strike. He hits the first free throw. No problem with the line, he drops both free throws. Henning with it out top. They drop it into the low post. Allman from the high post, it's no good. The Lumberjacks take the ball up, down four points right now. Oh, what a great shot there, Mike. Well, it was perfectly placed. That's a great assist. You got that right. An unselfish play that makes the whole team look good. Nice rhythm in that offense. Armstrong inbounds the ball. Two-point differential between these clubs. Henning up top. Ooh, shoots. Hansen looks for us coming back out. He can't get the first. He does nail the second free throw. The Northern Arizona Lumberjacks down by three with the ball. Here's the double team. Armstrong comes off the floor for now. Collier puts the ball in play. The Michigan State Spartans with the ball and a three-point advantage. They thread it underneath. Another score, and just look at the way these talented kids are matching up tonight. It's been a compelling matchup, Mike. They're going right at each other, and you've got pretty even production out there from these top two guys. They're going to have to pick it up defensively against each other. This is a great matchup. And it might last all night long, too. Misses from the wing. It's a five-point game. Appleby doesn't get that one to go, and Jay, he's missed more shots than we're used to seeing. Boy, he has, but you can't fault his shooting form. His team is playing well as a unit right now, and they have the lead, and that's all you really care about, but you worry about your star player staying in the ball game and not forcing it. Might get a W on a lock. No! Another difficult basket, and it's this defense that's doing it. They've made every possession hard tonight. Well, they haven't been able to get the open. Feed it inside. Cooley kisses it off the glass oh, and Cooley. in. Curry with the inbound. Seven points between these clubs. Mike, I think the adjustments this team makes has to be on the defensive end. They, they've got to do a better job with their interior defense. They're giving up too many easy scores, and when they're trailing like this, you give up interior baskets, and that's awfully difficult to overcome. Good low post defense there. Maybe he gave up a little bit too much room, but he kept that shot from going down. Curry doesn't drain the three, but that's his favorite shot. The Spartans have the ball, and it's a seven-point lead. Curry picks up after the missed shot. The Northern Arizona Lumberjacks have the ball down by seven. Jay, that one goes in, and they're really outperforming the other team in the second half. Well, that's an understatement. They've hit more threes in this half than the other teams hit all game long. Three is the magic number for this team. President has an opportunity to get his third three-pointer this trip. Another basket, and we're seeing the backcourt just dominate this game, Jay. I think 
think this team's guards have really gotten the advantage in this ball game, Mike. You're going to have to really press out on these guys because they're knocking their shots down right now. Two-point differential between these clubs. Henning misses an easy one. It's dropped in low. Curry scores his eighth point of the half. Armstrong looks flash coming back out. Passes it in. The Michigan State Spartans with the ball and we're all tied up. Cooley commits the charge. Cooley gets the ref's attention on that play. It's charging. That's his third foul so far. We've got an even score. Curry fires the three. Curry, no luck at all, and it really hasn't been a strong performance yet. No, Mike, but you can't always expect your star shooters to play at their top level every single game. They've done well here so far, but they've kept this game even. That's what's important at this stage. Armstrong misses, and the run continues. Inside shot. Curry doesn't hit that shot, and if this continues, the coach is going to be very worried. Mike, you never like to see one of your star players missing a lot of open shots. He hasn't produced thus far, but they aren't suffering yet, but it's getting close to worry time. He can't get the first. He sinks the second. Curry with the inbound pass. A minute 55 to go. The Spartans have a one-point edge as time is starting to run out. Jay, what's your analysis? Mike, this is a close game as it comes down to the end. I think it's really important for this team to go where their advantage lies, and that's in the paint. They've really dominated the painted area in this ball game. You know, getting the ball in the paint is kind of like body blows in a boxing match, and the end of the ball game is where you really can take advantage of that because you're wearing that team down. Keep getting it inside. You'll go to the free throw line, and you'll get easy opportunities. From deep, the Northern Arizona Lumberjacks score again. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. The Spartans down by three with the ball. Ball fed to the post. Loose ball. Hansen passes outside. The Lumberjacks have possession, and they're on fire. 13 of the last 16 points. Three-point spread on the scoreboard. Terrific aggressiveness defensively. In a close ball game late in the second period, that can be the difference. That is a game-winning type play. That was a big basket right there. This team has done a great job of muscling their way back into this ball game. What will? Less than a minute to go. It's not going to be easy to come back, but not impossible either. Boy, this is tough, Mike. You've got to score and then go down and play strong defense without fouling and then go down and score again. It is not going to be easy, but don't put it past this team to make a comeback here. Cooley will pick up the personal, and that will get him his fourth foul of the ballgame. Henning will wrap him up, call from the personal. That's his third foul so far. Curry has it up top. Armstrong will wrap him up. Call from the personal. That's his first foul of the game. Curry throws the ball inbound. What an outstanding defensive rebound, Mike. He really boxed out well there and really went after the ball. When you pursue the ball like that, that's how you win tight ball games. The Lumberjacks decide to call a timeout. Appleby is called from the personal. That's his first foul of the game. Only 25 on the game clock. Appleby will wrap him up. He picks up his second foul. We're in the bonus, and we'll go to the line to shoot one and one. He gets the first of two. The second free throw is no good. They've got possession. Time is winding down. The pressure is on, Jay. I love this kind of game, Mike. Every pass, every shot is absolutely critical. This is nerve-wracking basketball here. The Lumberjacks call timeout. I'm out on the floor.
Adagania throws it in. The Northern Arizona Lumberjacks have possession. This game is tied. Adagania gets this one, and they now have the lead. That will do it for this NCAA presentation. The score, 45 to 43. The Lumberjacks won this contest on the strength of their determination and by executing down the stretch. Tonight's Burger King Players of the Game.